Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Welcome to a beautiful Florida day while well, we're all on lockdown. This is my modified basting brush with only one row left and then each bristle in between taken out. I might use that. I'm going to put my glasses on. This is a dish of various sized little acetate cards that I'm probably going to use to swipe and I save them and eventually I'll make a collage out of them, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to put those aside for right now. This is my 10 by 20 inch canvas and some Artist Loft and Walmart semi-gloss black paint mixed together. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link below show more underneath the video, first blue link, well most of the time anyway. And uh, I want to remind you guys that if you watch all of the video you give my channel more of a chance to survive because for some reason the algorithm is still not smiling on me no matter how no matter for the fact that I have 86,000 subscribers or not doesn't seem to make any difference and uh, only a few hundred people at a time are watching but well we're all on lockdown I still live in hope as I watch my revenue plummet <laughs> regardless of how many people are watching which is nonsensical to me but I appreciate you guys helping by the way the uh, the monthly drawing is on the end screens it's you can see what the prizes are on the exhibition video. I think it says something like a uh, hundred ish this a hundred ish recent new artworks from me. So I'm going to use some black enamel. Oh, and a thumbs up would be great if you're one of those people who tells me that you forget. I'm reminding you, <laughs> give me a thumbs up and thank you. While I'm at it, touching up my edges. Thank you very much for all the contributions that have kept me painting so far. The uh, the minimum donation to get into the monthly drawing where there's a choice of five paintings this month um, is ten dollars but uh, that's what's been keeping me painting is everybody's help so I really appreciate that thank you so much to all of you if you are really inclined to become a studio supporter other than binge watching my videos um, and you have an interest in collecting my art please use the email address directly below the video That'll get you in touch with me anytime. Used to be I did classes, and I will. I expect to do classes again at some point in time. But for right now, that service is suspended. Excuse me. I gotta go over to Chef and Ashley right now. My husband is trying to uh, get himself employed as a food delivery person, which is a really, really appreciated occupation at the moment. I'm sure by the millions of people who live in our area and I am done adding paint it's suddenly the Sun is out and it's become very warm and I'm just gonna touch the edges up with the paint that's on my spatula and try not to worry about it but I'm never very good at that so let's just get on with this so my idea is to give myself some colors that I like starting with gold And I will still put my enamel down the middle. I'm hoping that's kind of centered. I probably should have looked better in any case. So I love this magenta and I can't seem to get enough of it. Why don't I just put that in the bottom of both of those shovels? I was going to use a dustpan and I'm not done thinking that I might yet. I'm going to use some white pearl in there because I haven't done that yet and I've wanted to. This is the... Anita's metallic. I call it white pearl. I can't seem to stop. <laughs> and there's some blue from, let's see if I can remember the Hobby Lobby name. It's a modern masters maybe. And this is an enamel. I think that that was a folk art enamel in the craft section. And then I'm going to definitely use, make sure that's shaken, my favorite turquoise. Now this is going to be kind of strange. So the first, the last color in is going to be the first color out and as per usual I want it to be my favorite folk art purple which is a color shifting purple and I think that that's okay. If I need to add more colors I'll try and do that. Let me move some stuff out of the way. This is the first time I've done this exact procedure and I'm hoping I'm going to get away with it. And I may have to flip my turntable around a couple times. 
to make it work. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get away with this. This might be a very strange idea. All right, so it's just going to be a different conglomeration of colors and patterns. As you can see, I probably should have gone lengthways. But I kind of like what's happening, so I'm not going to complain yet, and uh, I could still use the basting brush. Why don't I grab the other shovel and start at this end. And I'm just going to go back. Wait. You know what? I just want to put some more of that that turquoise in that in the end of that shovel. Maybe wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's try and repeat what I had there since I'm not doing a great job of that. Um, yep, right down here for sure. So now the question is, what do I want to do? And I've got this paint and things weren't going exactly as I planned. And I am inclined to go ahead and use the basting brush as soon as I can. In the meantime, I've got plenty of paint left oozing out of my shov shovels. If I had done a better job of putting the black in the background, it might, might have been one of those, oh, I'm done moments, but it's not. So. So as soon as that paint layer touches the edge of the canvas, you can begin, as soon as you see it attach, paint will flow to paint. So the wet background will almost always help you if you're very slow. Get the rest of that paint out of that shovel. Or you could grab yourself a number one Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, like I have. I want a little bit less paint there because it's all over the side now. And I'm going to put, I'm going to consolidate one shovel into the into the other, and then add a few more colors, and throw my first shovel, my first emptied shovel into the bucket, so the paint doesn't uh, dry on there. And this is what I've got, and this is what I'm going to do. Because I realize that the odder the pattern is at this point, the better off I am. Do I want any white? No. Yes. A little bit of white. And finish up with my favorite, which I could just add to everything anytime and be very, very pleased about. Let's go down here since there wasn't much of that there. What else do I need? I'm kind of short on the end. So I guess I'm just going to fill in right there as best I can. Oh, and here. Okay. Hey, at least they match, right? I learn as I go. <laughs> what can I say? It is what it is. I'm going to let that shovel drain that puddle of paint and I'll probably wind up using it on the end. So what I want to do now is, do I want? You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use my favorite color there. And then the enamel, which I did get out of in advance. Let that relax for a minute and see what happens. I might be tempted to, um, yeah, <laughs> let's just do some of this. It's because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link underneath Show More. The second book is called Unlimited Possibilities because I truly believe that fluid art is got limited, limitless possibilities. I said that backwards. So let's play first without swiping, and we're going to go ahead and grab some of this. Yeah, I lied. Let's grab a swipe card. 
a nice little swipe card. One that I have a couple like, or a couple three, and start from the middle out. I'm going to split the difference this time. That's kind of a change. And I'm going to grab one of my little dishes to scrape my excess paint off into. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Split the difference. Because I like the colors that are left. And I'm just going to do that right down the line. I may not use a basting brush at all. It's like me to change my mind. So long as I leave a little bit of that orange, I'm happy. And look at the paint I'm getting. I can use that on something else. I'm being very gentle scraping it off. I kind of want to get better at doing this. Not that I thought I was terrible at it. I just want to get better at it. I want to do more variations on a theme so I can figure out what I really love. So I can choose to do that. I'm a little dyslexic, so sometimes it takes me a second to realize where I am exactly. And all this paint that I'm using will be great to touch the ends up if I so desire. Or the edges. I love what the black enamel does. And any spots I happen to have not had exact symmetry as I went along are okay because all the patterns are basically different. I like the little black negative spaces that are sort of keyhole. I like being able to see the colors that I used to have to try and uncover. by just leaving them where they are. I've never tipped one of these yet. And I could do that. And if they become uneven, I think that's just going to make it even that much more interesting. Not that I really see it as uneven, because it's not symmetrical no matter what. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. If you look under the video, you're not going to just find the Amazon link that where if you shop there, it's uh, no added cost to you and helps me out. You will find the paint pouring recipe. You will also find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And I'm totally enamored of this. I'm going to, these are from Michael's, these little dishes. And Generally, I use the small one and put the top on, the bottom on for a cap, but this time I'm just going to use one of the saucers as a cap. And then I can come back and use this again later. Let's torch and see if I can pull out my, my crib sheet, which says, thank you guys for everything. All the contributions that have kept me painting are really appreciated. I could black out my edges and not worry too much about it. I love that this is abstract and uh, nothing is the same in any position at all, but all the colors go together really nicely. Really happy I added that orange at the end too. So um, if you guys are looking for all over print leggings or all over print t-shirts, good news! Under the video, Teespring has my artworks applied to all kinds of products, including all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And when you shop there, you help me out, just like if you were to go to my Facebook group called Totes and More and be able to press the Shop Now button and you would find FineArtAmerica and Pixels.com and the 1200 products I put there since 2013. So it, it's just a fun place to go, even if you're just looking around. I got a couple places on my edges that I might want to touch up with the black paint, and the black paint is over there. But you guys can't see that, so it really doesn't matter until you're gone. So I'm going to go. 
Let me check. I have 1,200, I have 1,310 videos actually as of this morning and I added, uh, I'm adding them all to the end screens uh, of, every, of every video right now. I'm bulk downloading on TubeBuddy. Thank you for uh, 86,000 subscribers and uh, please binge watch my videos if you can and look for playlists. Created playlists on my channel will take you to um, 11, 11 li 12 lists, 12 lists of 100 and probably a 13th being populated and also like 13 genres like orbs or abstracts or swipes and this will be in swipes although I'm pretty happy with this I gotta say thank you guys so much for joining me and thank you for watching until the end it's really imperative if you want me to be able to stay that you try and convince yourself to watch to the end I've tried to cut down on some of the commercials but my my revenue is going away so if you're inclined to, like I said, buy a piece of artwork, check out the exhibition video. Everything is for sale, and I will be happy to get back to you if you use my email. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and inspiring the heck out of me, because you do that every day. And I'm not done playing with this method by a long shot. I wonder if I need to zoom in. Oh, I could. So I'm inclined to call this a keyhole swipe. Love you guys. I will see you in on. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard still until I move into the house. Cross your fingers. I want that to happen. And um, I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.